Hello everyone, my name is Emily and it is Seeing Eye Day 19. We had the day off today because my instructor did not work. Um, it was not nearly as uneventful as day 12, but it was still pretty bad. This morning, I can't even think what happened to me this morning. I just don't remember. Um, yeah, this morning after breakfast, the memory is like totally gone. Um, but I can tell you shortly before, maybe I did start laundry this morning. I don't really know. Um, but shortly before lunch, my friend and I went out to the leisure path. Hi, Hennig. She's licking the bottom of my camera. Hi, baby. Um, I went to the leisure path. And we came back in. And there was a group of people visiting the seeing eye to learn about it and learn what it does. We intercepted them in the middle of a speech. And there were two dogs with them, and then two, Hennig. <laughs> Hi, cute girl. <laughs> okay, I have my seeing eye dog in my lap now. Um, anyways, there were two dogs with them. One that has not gone into class yet, and one that is already a working guide dog, and so we had to work our dogs past them and through the people and yeah, it was just awful and weird. Um, then this afternoon we did laundry. You just ran into the door with your butt. We took like an hour nap on the floor and just cuddled. My excuse is that it's bonding. Hennig, leave that alone. She's trying to get into her food. Um... Yes, yeah, so we took an hour nap on the floor, and then we had dinner. Oh, I forgot to mention, that's what we did this morning. We played with a lot of balls, especially her little squeaky rubber ball. Now that there are no people, I feel like it's okay to play ball. Like, no people downstairs, I mean. Um, cause, yeah, they're not going to be bothered. But, um, yeah, we played with that ball. She lost it under the bed so many times. And she's funny, so she'll either go to the bed, try to crawl under the bed herself and get it, or she'll stand by me panting, like, please give me my ball, give me my ball, give me my ball, I lost it. <laughs> and so, yes, I had to get the ball out from under the bed several times, and then finally I was just like, enough is enough. Anyways, this afternoon, after dinner, that is, we went to the leisure path again, and... Then we went downstairs and played shuffleboard. And two blind girls playing shuffleboard is interesting. So what happens with that shuffleboard is the side, one of the sides of the board is brailed. Hi, Hennig. And the chips, one chip, well, one color of chip has a little bump in the middle. And then the other chips are just smooth. And so what would happen is one of us would shuffle the chip and then whoever's end it was on, so if my friend shuffled, it was on my end. Um, whoever's end it was would check the chip if it stayed on the board to see what line it landed on, because with the braille and the engravings, you could see the lines. So that was a lot of fun. Um, shuffleboard, you definitely have to have the right amount of finesse. And two blind people playing it, I mean, come on. <laughs> um, here she goes. She's getting her nose in the camera again. Um, anyways, so we did that, and that's pretty much been our evening and our day. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, we actually get to work. Oh, it's seeing I did 20. Guys, we only have four dinners left of class. I'm so excited, but so scared to go home. Like, Man. This is so terrifying. 
But it'll work, I think. I, I could see Hennig working for the next eight or ten years. Uh, she loves it. Today she had a tiny glimpse of what the pet dog life was like. Like this idea of, oh, I can sit in the room and play ball all day. She did do some minor guide work, but we didn't really go anywhere. So she got this idea of, I can lay around and sleep with my owner on the floor, and I can play with balls all day. I don't really think she liked it. At least I hope not, because then that means she's going to quit working. But, you know, I don't know. I think our turnover will be fine. It's just one of those things, like, I'm not in the thick of it yet. I'm not living my real life with a dog yet. Like, the seeing eye is basically the Disneyland Hogwarts-type experience of guide dogs. And so, it's almost unearthly. Hennig, what are you doing, miss? Hold on, I'm gonna go kind of wacky out of focus because I'm gonna see what she's... Oh, she's laying in her crate without a mat. Hold on. I washed her mat today. And I'm gonna wash it again on Wednesday before we leave so that it's as hair free as possible. Anyway, sorry. I was going on about the seeing eye. It just, something seems so unearthly about it. It's just this magical place where you and everyone around you is here for one common reason. And, you know, it's just everyone here is so nice and the staff are not ever ever grumpy even though they vacuum up so much dog hair and when everyone's here they serve 23 different plates of food not even including the instructors they're not even they're not grumpy about it they're very have a magical day kind of people and so there's just something unworldly about the seeing eye and so i I'm scared, but so excited to get back into the real world. To really learn how Hennig works. Because the dogs are trained in Morristown. So they're trained on the first two routes, the South Street and the Elm Street route. They were trained on those routes. And that was the beautiful thing about New York City, is I got to see her work in a new environment. Um... But yeah, this is going to be a city, a state, a family that she's not had training with. And I'm really excited to see what she does. And I think between her and I, we can make it work. But it's scary at the same time. It's almost like growing up and getting a job, leaving college, getting a job. Yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe and turn the bell on to continue to receive notifications and updates. I may only have four days left of my seeing eye journey, almost, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna quit vlogging. After the seeing eye, you can expect to see videos going up every single Saturday about your questions. If you would like videos to go up about your particular question, please comment with that question. There is no such thing as a stupid question. I don't believe in them. They just don't exist. So, comment with your questions. Um, if you would like to consider donating to or learning more about the Seeing Eye, their, dis bleh, their homepage is going to be linked in the description. Also, if you have missed any episodes of this journey, or if you would like to rewatch any, please feel free to visit my Seeing Eye Dog Journey playlist, which is also in this description. And there's a little message from Hennig and me. It's the same message every single day, but it's a good reminder. So if you haven't seen it yet, open up that description. Check out the message. Hey, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I feel like I just had something witty on the tip of my tongue, but I lost it. So now my ender's going to be really stupid. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.